All right, what is up, guys? So, I know I haven't done a video in a while since this whole uh, virus thing is going around. Um, but let me show you what's up with because these threads right here on the trans, we are putting the bolts in. Uh, com as you can see, they're completely stripped down. So we have to rethread those. Then after we rethread those, we gotta take the trans off and uh, replace the flywheel. See, we got the transmission re-threaded. Uh, right now, I'm heading to Robert's shop. Uh, well, his dad's shop. His Mustang. He needs to do some work on the transmission, so we need to take it out and uh, see what's up with it. So, Robert. So, what are we doing on your Mustang? Uh. Transmission, you know. <laughs> there it is. I'm trying to get that boy out. <laughs> Should we start it? Mustang. I'm not gonna post this video yet, uh, though. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Not, not gonna post it yet. Yeah, it's gonna hurt some feelings. We'll be like stage three, stage three can. Gaiente already. It's just that. Oh, it's gonna be HP tune on E85 Dyna tune. Short throw shifter. It's mostly like a bolt on engine. So. Yeah. Yeah, and the engine's whole gonna build. go down. Whole build. Pistons. Yeah, just some. <laughs> to hurt some feelings. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, so. Race we, this. Race huh? this. We, we found this we're guy. Trying, we're, trying, we're trying to grab three runners. And we, we found this guy that would tune both of our cars. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Red Bash Performance. What's his name again? I can Red Bash tag Performance. Him. On Instagram, yeah, Red Bash Performance. Yep, that's his Instagram. And uh, now we're pretty much just gonna go and hang out, pretty much not do anything and start these, today. Just Maybe work on some cars at the house. I don't know. All right, so we got a hoist for my car. Got that engine up. Need to pull the trans. We do the flywheel, drop it back in, and getting it tuned sometime this week or next. Then here we sold the core lovers off the Miata, putting the stock ones back on right now. Uh, now we need to replace the flywheel here. And then put the trans back on and then put it back in there. Got trans off again. Now look at this new flywheel. See the gap on the teeth? Now nah, look at this old one. See the gap on those? Way smaller. So that's the wrong one. Hopefully it works now. I got the trans back on. Now we're just uh, putting it in place. The new new holes here are re-threaded. Got the new bolts right here. Uh, just so we st don't strip it out this time, I'm gonna put that mount on first on this side so we don't have to worry about uh, messing the threads up again. So, excuse the mess, like huge mess over here. But <clears throat> I showed you got the engine in, got the front end back on, I got the driver's side axle on, and now all I'm working on is this side. And uh, to put this the hub up on the coilover. So just got the driver, the passenger side axle in. Now we're just gonna throw this hub up, and then put the wheels on and start the braking process.
so in the last clip you saw the thing running and then it started smoking uh, the reason it was smoking is because we need to reroute one of the few, uh, oil feed lines straight to the oil pan I don't know why we didn't just do that in the first place but I had to take it out it's not terrible to get to but it's not the best Alright, so what we're going to have to do, uh, I'm going to have to remove the oil pan sometime uh, this week, probably another one of my off days, but uh, we're going to end that video here, and the next week's video, we should get it running and do a big reveal and all that, so yeah, thanks for watching.